Hi everyone, welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Felicia. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to compare different types of microneedling tools. I will say the only tool that I've used personally on my face is going to be the Banisher 2.0. All these other tools that I'm going to be comparing is just mentioning different pros and cons for each tool and then go from there and let you decide whether it's worth it. The first tool we're going to be talking about is Beauty Bio's Glow Pro Micro Needling Tool. This whole kit is $200, which is a very steep price, but it includes, you know, the I think the cleanser, the serums, the pads, batteries included, and also the micro needling tool for $200. This is it and you can just press on and the LED light will turn on. That's one of the pros. I do like that, that it kind of vibrates and then you can just roll this up and down your face. You know, you can have different types of attachments like this is for the body and this is for the eye. So it's very versatile that you can just buy different attachments of different sizes. You can use it, you know, around your eye or around your body. Continue you're replacing the head. I think the major con for me is just the price of $200 with the whole kit and that's just on Sephora's website. But I do like how it feels very sturdy on the hand that I feel like I'm getting a quality product. I'm not a fan of like the rolling. What I like better is, is the stamp design. Next up, we have the Dr. Pen Auto Micro Needle System. So this is going to be around $200. I think it's like $196. This is what it looks like. For me, the design doesn't scream user-friendly. If you want to start micro needling and you're a big beginner i'm not gonna be grabbing this one because this looks really intense <laughs> like you know a professional would use this i think this would be really good if you're advanced just because it has a lot of features but that would be you know the price of 200 dollars and also just the design would be an automatic con for me but i do like that it vibrates I feel like if you're micro needling your face and you also have that vibration feature i feel like it's gonna make it work a lot better but you know the vibration feature can also be a con for some people because maybe Maybe that's going to damage your skin even more. I do like that it comes with disposable cartridge tips and it's you know the diameter looks very small I think the point of this pen is just to be as precise in in areas you can get kind of like closer to maybe your temples around this area so I really do like that feature of precision so the next one is the Sadara micro needle derma roller this is about ten dollars which <laughs> Okay, I don't want to be spending like $200, but I also don't want to be spending $10 for needles that are gonna be used on my face. $10 is a little bit, a little bit too cheap. I can't really confirm if it was produced well or not. The price tag alone, $10, is I'm not confident. The needles contains titanium, but it's just a traditional micro needling tool that you can use at your home. It rolls over your face. I really like the stamp feature better because the rolling design can cause like tram track scarring and you can accidentally, you know, roll over your active acne. I don't know if I have pros about this. I can see people buying this just because they're like, you know, micro needling tools are expensive. This is just $10. Let me just try it. Those are brave, brave customers. Just being more educated now on micro needling tools, the price is definitely a red flag. You want something that's of quality. Okay, so the next one is going to be the Dr. Derma Stamp system here. It comes in kind of like a sterile case. Pro would be that, like I've mentioned, I really love the stamp design versus the rolling. There's a dial at the top and you can control the needle penetration to your skin. But I did notice that there's a 3.0 millimeter needle size option. And I will say that's a little bit, you know, too long to use at home. I'm not 
I can't really speak to the safetiness of that. If you didn't know that, you know, three millimeter is too long to use at home, it can damage your skin. That would be a con for me. And I really like that it's coated with titanium nitride. So that would be a pro as well. Yeah. Okay, so comparing the Derma stamp to the Dr. Pen, the design, this one is like very sleek. It's white, it looks more user friendly. I forgot to mention, but this also has a dial as well and it can go up to 2.5. This goes all the way to three and this is $200. $200 compared to $30, $40 and this pen, you know, not go all the way up to three millimeters. So that would be a pro for this one, but just the design and the price for me is just, you know, it can be a pro and con depending on your budget. So the last one that we're going to be talking about is obviously the Banisher 2.0. It's the only one that I've talked about in this video right now that I've actually used on my face. It has the stamp design, which I really love. And you kind of just like every two weeks, just stamp stamp around my face. It has gold plated needles. And since it's a stamp design, you can have even pressure as you use it across your face. And this baby is $69. And that's going to be the in-between price that I'm looking for as a consumer. I don't wanna pay $10, but I'm not willing to pay $200. So this is kind of in the middle. I know that I'm getting a quality tool with the right price range and it's accessible and I really love the sleek design. I do wish that it came in different sizes. What I mean by that is this would be a really good medium size, but during my lazy days, if they have a bigger diameter size, I can just kind of, you know, go around just my cheeks and my forehead and I'll be done. Or I would really also like the option of pen sizes. They're more precise and I can maybe go and feel comfortable, go around my eye area, around my temples, around my mouth. Not to mention that I really love the cap design. This is where I put the alcohol. Just put it in, cap it, just do this. This is what I do at home. Just to make sure the needles are covered with alcohol alcohol and that it's properly cleaned. I really love that feature. So those are just my thoughts. I hope this video was helpful because I know there are just so many different types of micro needling tools on the internet and it's hard to choose which one to go with. You know, user-friendly design. The price tag is also a big consideration. And if you're thinking about these types of tools, I would really ask the question of like, you know, how often are you gonna use this? Because you need to be consistent to make this tool worth it. If you wanna be consistent and you're planning to do this, every two weeks on the dot and you're determined and you're gonna see results, then you know that $200 price tag for Beauty Bios Glow Pro is gonna be worth it for you, right? If you're like me and you just really wanna find a quality product that's affordable, that's accessible, I'm gonna go with the Banisher 2.0. But if you're more comfortable with the tool, you've been using it for a while, you want that option to go from shallow, a bigger and a longer needle to use, then you know, one of those pens, dermostat, or the doctor pen where you can adjust the dial might be a good option for you. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and that it was helpful and I will see you next time.